Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Today we're going to look at Spider-Man playing cards. That's right. And Spider-Man 2 playing cards. I don't know why I don't have Spider-Man 3. I don't know, it's just weird. Hey, they're, <laughs> they're character cards. Uh, they're put out by United States Playing Card Company and uh, their association with Marvel Comics. Um, they're pretty much just standard 808s, but they're, uh, you know, based on the movie franchise. Uh, the back design of the Spider-Man 1s are a one-way back design with a green border, I guess, to go along with the Green Goblin. And uh, it's just his picture. And then the faces of the cards are just, um, they're not even photographs from the movie. You'd think they would be. Um, they're just uh, stylized, uh, drawn um, pictures of Spider-Man and the Green Goblin. And they're not even, like, pictures from any comic book. They're just made for these decks. And then every card, like so every 10, has the same picture. Every jack has the same picture. Every king has the same picture, you know. And there, there isn't that many um, pictures to choose from. Again, they're one way, uh, faces and back design. And other than that, there's nothing special about them. Uh, there's your two full-size jokers, which is, uh, surprise, Spider-Man. <laughs> And so they're just a fun uh, deck of cards that you would collect um, if you were into Spider-Man. And so that's, or, or if you're a big fan of the movie, you know, there's, there's that. Uh, Spider-Man 2 uh, is a yellow box. It says Spider-Man 2 on it. Uh, the decks are a little different. They're, they're, I think they're a little cooler. Um, again, it's a one-way back design, and it's just Spider-Man. But now the art is a little bit I don't know, it's a, little bit, it's a little bit better. Like here, see, there's this ace. It's Doc Ock. Um, your two Jokers are both full size. They're uh, Spider-Man hanging upside down. Um, see, the, you got the spider in the center of your, of your pips there, and they're all a little different. I know I'm going through these really quickly. They're all just a tad meow, different. <laughs> um, maybe I show them to you like this. So... Not, you know, incredibly exciting. There's the courts. They're uh, full color uh, pictures of Spider-Man. I don't know why I'm showing these to you. This is like the lamest deck review in the world. But hey, I like Spider-Man. Who doesn't like Spider-Man? You guys already know I like uh, Star Wars, so I just figured I'd let you know that I like comics too. I'm a big time comic book collector, and uh, I'm totally into like all that nerd geek stuff, like comic book men and whatnot. So, yeah, collecting is in, that's what I do. So, yeah, I, I've mentioned a couple of times that I, I'm a, I collect cards and that I don't necessarily do flourishes with them. It's not to bag on flourishing at all. I think flourishing is awesome. It's just not something I've ever done or practiced at. I'm kind of an old dog, and you can't teach an old dog new tricks, I guess. And <laughs> so uh, I basically use cards either for collecting or for doing magic. Um, so that's kind of uh, been my history. So I saw these. They had Spider-Man on them. They're cards. Uh, it's kind of that marriage of the two worlds of, you know, something that you collect and something that you love, and you kind of put them together. And so that's uh, one of the fun things about collecting cards. So that's my review for the Spider-Man cards.